Now that we know the theory behind complex models, like we learned in the last video, we're going to be learning how to animate important models. And we're going to be using a model from the Rome project. It is important to give attribution. So we're going to be using a horse from the Rome project. So we're going to start by first of all having our JS object in the file system. And we need to first of all, like we did with the monkey loader, where we exported that scene from Blender, to do a loader. And this time we're going to be using three JSON loader. And we're going to re specify true. Now we're also going to be creating an empty mesh and the duration of the animation, let's say 700, and the number of keyframes, which is 15, and the interpolation, which is obtained by doing the duration divided by the number of keyframes, like we have learned in previous chapters. Finally, we are going to be defining two other additional properties last keyframe and current keyframe. So, to basically use the loader and to load that pause with uh, several keyframes inside, we're going to be using loader.load on the name of the file, which is horse.js, that we need to specify callback. And that callback will return a geometry, the geometry data. So let's specify G. And now we need to create a new mesh. So three mesh, and we're going to be past G. And in this case, we will need to specify the material. We are going to be using mesh Lambert material. There are other materials such as foam material and flat shader. But in this case, we're going to be using mesh Lambert material. And we're going to be obviously setting a color of the model, let's say gray. That's the hexadecimal number. And we're also going to be specifying more targets to true to smooth out the, the animation. Now, we also need to basically set a basic scale of the model, let's say 111. And we're going to be rotating the model, so you can look at it. I'm going to be using mesh.rotation.y 90 degrees. Finally, we need to add the scene. Let's use scene.add and mesh, which adds the mesh to the scene. So let's preview what we have. All right, it's loading and it's a black horse. Why is it black? Well, because it's not being illuminated by any light sources. So we need to create a new light source. Luckily for us, that's very easy. Let's create a new light variable, new three directional light. And let's set the color, let's say um, white. FF, 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 intensity, I think that's intensity. And we need to set the position of the light, one, one, one and normalize the vector. Finally, we need to add the light to the scene. So scene.add light. If we preview the example, we can see a beautiful horse. All right, perfect. Now, to animate this, I'm going to copy and paste a bit of code that I have worked on. And I am going to be pasting this basic piece of code within the render function. Now let's fix this. Let's go ahead and fix this. So if the mesh is loaded, otherwise it will crash, that routine will be executed. So the result is a beautiful horse running. In the next video, we'll be learning how to do complex animations.